Hey, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Freak Easy Gaming and welcome back to another video and welcome to my first sports video. Now I'm very excited to produce my sports video because it's been a video I've wanted to produce for a very long time now. Now if you can't tell by the title, for my first sports video, I am going to be doing NFL predictions for week 8. Now guys, week 8 starts today. It, this video was supposed to originally go up yesterday, but with the new channel content changes, uh, I decided to post it today, rather than wait till next week to post my first prediction video. Now guys, in my NFL predictions video, which I will do every week until the Super Bowl ends, in my NFL predictions video, I am basically going to tell you what team I think is going to win each and every scheduled game in the NFL for that week. Now guys, before I show you all the games scheduled for week 8, which starts today, and since this is my first sports video, I want to give you a little background on me. Now guys, a little background on me and my sports knowledge before we get into the video. Now, I have been following football for about a year now since the beginning of the 2015 season i try to watch all the games i could but i didn't follow the sport super heavily like i do now and over the last two months or month and a half i have been following football really really heavily and what i mean by that is that i've been learning about all the teams i've been learning about all their stats i've been learning about player injury reports and basically, I have been learning all things that have to do with the NFL over the last two months or month and a half. And I have also gotten to doing fantasy teams, which interests me a lot. And I have gotten to trying to predict who's going to win. And I've gotten really, really good at it. Now, guys, keep in mind when I do make these prediction videos, I'm not just talking out my ass. I'm not just saying, oh, this team's going to win or this team's going to win, I take into consideration everything that that team has when going up against another team. I take into consideration the offense, the defense, the differential, the passing yards, the rushing yard, passing yards allowed, rushing yards allowed, and the turnover differential along with the team's record and their average points per game. So I take into consideration all that stuff when I do make these type of prediction videos. And I take into consideration a lot more than just what I listed just now. Just know that I am using research, numbers, stats, and statistics of each team to predict the winner. So guys, without further ado, let's get into my first NFL prediction video. Now guys, this is the prediction video for week 8. So here is all the scheduled games in the NFL for week 8. Now, for those of you who don't follow football too much, football weeks begin on Thursday and end on Monday. Not like regular weeks that begin on Monday and end on Sunday. And then in the NFL, the game weeks begin on Thursday and end on Monday. Kind of weird, but it's just something I learned. So guys, take, keep on taking a look at all these NFL games scheduled. I'll give you about five more seconds or you could just pause the video. Moving into my first prediction, which is the game that takes place today between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Tennessee Titans. I think the Tennessee Titans are the far better team in this scenario. So I think the Tennessee Titans are gonna win this game. Now guys, I would also like to say that I'm not hating on any teams if I say that they're not going to win. Some weeks, I think my teams aren't going to win and they don't win. So don't think I'm just bashing on a certain team or anything like that. I'm not hating any team or anything like that. I'm just saying who I think is going to win based on the stats and statistics of each team. So with that said... Let's move into the second prediction, and this is between the Washington Redskins and the Cincinnati Bengals. Now guys, both teams have been doing pretty good this season, I say. However, I think the Cincinnati Bengals are going to take it, even though I am a Kansas City fan. I think it's going to be a very close game, but at the end of the day, 
I think the Cincinnati Bengals are going to win that game. Now, guys, moving into the third scheduled game of the week, the Seattle Seahawks versus the New Orleans Saints. Now, guys, once again, I think this is going to be a very close game. I am a huge Saints fan. Well, I really like the Saints. I'm more of a bigger Kansas City fan. But I do like the Saints. However, I think Seattle is going to win in this situ situation. The Seattle Seahawks at this time have better stats and statistics. And they also have a better record. So I think between the Seattle Seahawks and the New Orleans Saints, I think the Seattle Seahawks are going to win. But I think it's going to still be a very close game. Moving into the next game between the Detroit Lions and the Houston Texans. I think the Houston Texans are going to completely destroy the Detroit Lions. But I think in this situation, the Houston Texans are going to come out on top. And the reason why I think they're going to come out on top is because they are playing at home. Other than that, I would have to give it to Detroit. Moving into the next game, New England Patriots versus the Buffalo Bills. This is a game I'm excited for. Two of my favorite teams right now going head to head. I think it's going to be a very good, amazing game. Probably the best game of the week, or if not, at least one of the best games of the week. I think this is going to be an amazing game. But the way New England's playing right now, they're at the top. New England has better stats and statistics in this situation. So I think New England is going to win the game between Buffalo Bills and New England Patriots. Moving on to the next game, Oakland Raiders versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now guys, this was a very tough one for me to predict because both teams are very good and have been doing really well recently, especially the Raiders. They are doing a lot better than they have in a long time. Now guys, I think Tampa Bay's got a better record. They got better odds. They got better stats and statistics for them. However, I think the Oakland Raiders are going to win this one. However, I think the Oakland Raiders are going to win this one, even though Tampa Bay has been doing really well recently. So have the Oakland Raiders. And I think the Oakland Raiders are going to win this game between them and the Buccaneers, even though the Buccaneers are favored to win. And even though the Buccaneers have better stats and statistics at the moment. Now, moving on to our next scheduled game, which is New York Jets and the Cleveland Browns. I think it's going to be a very close game. Many of us know who are into football know that the Cleveland Browns are not in the best spot at the current moment in time. And the Jets aren't doing the most magnificent either. However, I think it's going to be a very, very close game. I think that the Jets may win by a few points. But I don't think they're going to win by much. However, this one's really hard for me to predict. I also have the feeling that for some reason, the Cleveland Browns are going to win it this week. I don't know why. But even though the odds favor the Jets, I'm going to go with the Cleveland Browns on this one. Now, guys, moving on to the Kansas City versus the Indianapolis Colts game. Again, I think this is going to be a very good game to watch. I think it's going to be action-packed and amazing. And now, for some reason, I'm thinking earlier in the video, I said Kansas City, but I meant Washington, so I'm apologize if I did mess that up. But anyways, guys, back into it. The next scheduled game, who do I think is going to win between Kansas City and the Indianapolis Colts? I'm going to have to go with the Colts in this situation. Both are very good teams, and both are kind of the same right now. But I think the Indianapolis Colts are just a little better. So I'm going to go with the Indianapolis Colts winning this game. Now guys, this next game, the Arizona Cardinals versus the Panthers, I can't predict at all. I don't know who's going to win. I think it, it's going to be a very close game. But if I had to choose a winner, I think I would choose the Panthers, even though they haven't been doing all that well. Even though Arizona's been doing really good recently, I think that the Carolina Panthers are going to wind up winning the game against the Arizona Cardinals. Now, moving into the next game, San Diego versus the Denver Broncos. I think the Denver Broncos are going to wind up winning this one by a lot. 
I think they're going to absolutely crush the Chargers. Now, guys, in this situation, the Denver Broncos is a far better team. They have a lot more wins, and their stats and statistics are a lot better than the San Diego Chargers. So I think the Denver Broncos are going to destroy the San Diego Chargers in this upcoming game. Now, guys, moving into the Green Bay Packers game versus the Atlanta Falcons game. Now, guys, I am a huge Packers fan, a diehard Packers fan. My father is a Packers fan. My families are Packers fans. And it pains me to say this, guys, but I think the Atlanta Falcons are going to beat the Green Bay Packers. In this, at this current moment in time, the Atlanta Falcons are a much better team. They have much better stats and statistics. Now, guys, moving on to the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys game. A pretty exciting game here. Philadelphia Eagles just beat the Vikings, a team that was undefeated. Absolutely crazy if you watch the game. However, I think that was a one-time thing for Philadelphia. They really haven't been doing so great this season. The Dallas Cowboys are always doing good for some reason, always doing semi-good. I'm not the biggest Cowboys fan, but in this situation, I think the Dallas Cowboys are going to beat the Philadelphia Eagles because they are the better team and have better odds, stats, and statistics. Now, guys, moving on to the Minnesota Vikings game and the Chicago Bears game. I think that Minnesota Vikings are going to take it. They're obviously the far better team in the situation. They have better stats and statistics. Even though they lost to the Philadelphia Eagles last week, I still think the Minnesota Vikings are going to beat the Bears. However, I do think the Bears are going to give them a hell of a run for their money. I think the Bears could pull off the win because I think this game is going to be very close. But at the end of the day, I think the Minnesota Vikings are are going to win by either a touchdown or two touchdowns. Anyways, guys, that concludes it for this week's NFL predictions. I'm sorry if I offended any of you, but even I think some of my favorite teams are not going to win this week, so don't take it personal. I'm just taking into account the odds, stats, and statistics and predicting a winner solely based off that. But the thing about sports that you have to understand is that it's a very crazy game and anything could happen. People could fumble the ball. There could be interceptions. All kinds of crazy things could happen. So what I say is not set in stone. I'm not saying the teams that I said are going to win are going to 100% win. I'm just saying that the teams that I said are going to win have the better odds, the better stats, and the better statistics. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any ideas on how I can improve these videos, let me know in the comment section down below. And I will try to take those into consideration. I really enjoyed doing this video because I really enjoy talking about football and stuff like that. If this video does really well, I'll start talking about fantasy football on my fantasy teams. But for now, we'll stick with the prediction videos. Anyways, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like and comment. If you are not yet subscribed, I ask you to please subscribe as it really does help the channel grow. And it's free after all. Anyways, guys, love each and every single one of you. Hope to see you guys right back here tomorrow. And remember, stay freaky.